you know, all these changes kind of got us thinking about all the things that are different from back when we went to class. And we figured there's a reason they call it old school. Aliens ran fucked my room. My printer's down. You won't need excuses for losing your schoolwork with the Trapper Keeper. Ah, the me Trapper Keeper. The pockets and the Velcro made it the epitome of school supplies for adults of <clears throat> my generation. But oh, how school supplies have changed. Not so long ago, schools provided the pencils and the paper, the glue and the scissors. But budget cuts have trickled down to the parents, which means our school shopping list looks like this. Now I love school supplies. It's kind of unnatural. I have no problem buying pocket folders or pencil cases or pens for that matter. But these days there's things on the list like dry erase markers and wipes and hand sanitizer. Kind of makes you miss the things that our parents used to have to buy. We took this dilemma, where else, to Facebook, the place where remembering way back when now takes on a high tech spin. Sure, you can get a stretchy book cover, but Steve laments the old school version. When a grocery bag would do. We were eco-friendly before we even knew what that meant. And remember these super pointy compasses? How on earth were children allowed to use these things? We can't even take them on a plane these days. Oh, and thank you, Carol and Eric, for reminding us of rubber cement. Talk about a mess. A teacher must have invented the now ubiquitous glue stick. And those dinged up metal lunch boxes? Augustus remembers them. And yep, my husband still has his evil Knievel one. Now that was instant status.